Like most 13-year-olds, he's proud of his school, his soccer trophies, and his country. I'm as American as you get. I'm as patriotic as you get. I mean, I'm America all the way. He's also proud of his religion. Salim Spinati is Muslim. But nowadays, the Tennessee town that's been his family's home for nearly 20 years doesn't feel the same. I'm always afraid for my mom because there are always a few stupid people out there. You never know what they're going to do. And my mom wearing that scarf is a symbol saying, hey, I'm Muslim. About 250 Muslim families live here in Murfreesboro, Tennessee. For decades, they've lived in peace and have prayed at a small local mosque. But then trouble started brewing over this site, where they want to expand and build a bigger Islamic center. In June, residents packed meetings in protest. If construction does begin, I would also encourage contractors to boycott it. And what some call a vocal minority got louder. Larry Anderson has lived in town for more than 40 years. They want to make this, instead of one nation under God, America, they want to make this one nation under Islam. Last month, construction equipment at the site was set on fire. And with that, the arsonist set nerves on edge, too. Salim's dad, Saleh Spinati, a computer engineering professor, says even after September 11th, he didn't see hatred like this. It's very hard for me to forget what I've heard directed toward me from people who don't know me. Nationwide, more than half a dozen proposed Islamic centers have run into roadblocks, from Temecula, California, to Sheboygan, Wisconsin, to the high-profile one near Ground Zero. Is this really about a building, or is it about something bigger? It's about the growing hatred you know, against Muslims. You know, Salim's 20-year-old sister, Dima, says for the first time, she's scared. It's very disappointing. It really is, because this country was founded upon freedom of religion. Across town, 10-year-old Zaid Abu Zara probably had more in his mind than just going back to school. Recently, some bullies learned he was Muslim. Uh, this group comes and starts calling me terrorist. Uh, you, you're, you're a Muslim. Uh, this is America. How did it make you feel? Awkward, sad, like a surprising. A surprise to many here, like Salim Spinati, who watched the news and wonder. First Amendment, ever since I was little and had to memorize it, freedom of religion, it says it. In that First Amendment, another right, freedom of speech. For some, just harder to hear.